Judging by the social media reaction and the player counts for Concord, it has been an epic failure for Sony, and it seems that things are only going to continue to get worse, because while this is Firewalk Studios' first game, it's probably going to be their last, as the estimates of units sold are abysmal. I have a few different things to show off, but before I get into the topic, if you enjoy the content I create, check out the links in the description, join the community in my live streams, and consider supporting through Patreon or YouTube to memberships. Now, I tried Concord out during the free open beta, and it was terrible. I just didn't have a fun time with it, but I still gave it a chance, and a lot of people uh, did not you know, decide to even take that leap, never mind, purchase the game for 40 freaking dollars. And now we're hearing that the Concord estimates for units sold is only 25,000, which is just an epic failure. This is an IGN article I'm going to briefly uh, mention. It says, for the last week, there's been a lot of online discussion on Sony's newly launched multiplayer shooter Concord, but it's not because everyone's playing it, it's because seeming no one is. The media has shifted in their stance because initially they were really trying to shill for this game. They were saying it was going to be the next big Overwatch competitor because that is what Sony believed. They were trying their best to cover it. And I understand that they wanted to be on top of a potential new large game so that people following it would go to their site, read their articles, their reviews, and ultimately it would get them more traffic. But that hasn't happened. So they ended up on the wrong side of history and now they have to kind of shift their stance because they realize, oh my god, this is such a big failure, we can't continue to shill for it. It says plenty of games don't sell well at launch, but observers have latched onto Concord's dramatic failure due to its high-profile nature as a Sony first-party game and its shockingly low Steam concurrent player numbers at launch. I love this, how they say plenty of games don't sell well at launch. You either sell well at launch or you don't sell well. Unless you shift things around and you really, you know, reboot and revamp your game, which rarely happens, you're never going to change that initial perception. The, you know, one instance I can think of that was massive was No Man's Sky, but they had a lot of money up front because people were so excited for it, even though, you know, the launch went exceedingly terrible. They did turn it around, though, because they had that initial money and they made a product that is worth buying now. But, you know, that's not going to happen with a game like Concord. They would have to completely, you know, strip this to the bones and they would have to rework everything. The framework of this game just isn't good. And that's why there's only, you know, 700 people that were on at one time max on Steam. Um, obviously, we do not have console numbers exactly, but as you can see, weekend two after release and only 93 players are in-game on a Sunday afternoon. Peak was 697. That is abysmal. And now we're hearing that it's estimated that it only sold about 25,000 units. According to analysts that were able to share a bit of insight on the PlayStation side, per Circana analyst Matt Piscatella citing Circana's player engagement tracker, on Monday, August 26th, Concord ranked 147th in the US PS5 daily active players across all titles, with fewer than 0.2% of Monday's active PS5 players playing the game and another analyst who authors the GameDiscover.co newsletter estimated that Concord's total sales were sitting around 10,000 units on Steam and around 15,000 on PlayStation, which of course is abysmal. This is not a $70 game, this is $40, and that means they made about a million dollars in total. And we know that video games are extremely expensive to develop, and people do believe that Sony bought them to give them the last bit of money uh, that they needed for development because Sony felt so confident in this product. So that means that this game probably had an even bigger budget than we initially assumed. Uh, right now, the estimates for the budget are sitting at about $115 million from you know, everything we've heard from the little bits and pieces of information we've gotten. It's not like they've officially confirmed it or anything, but 
that is a pretty average cost for a AAA game, especially one, you know, that again is being published by Sony because Sony bought the studio. Like, you expect Sony titles to do extremely well, but this is what happens when you don't put gameplay first, you don't listen to people, and you go and charge $40 for a game that's competition is all free to play. I like hero shooters. I play hero shooters and multiplayer games. I think that they can come out now and still be successful, but you have to have something new and unique. You have to have a reason to draw people in. Why would I go to Concord if I can play Overwatch that I've been playing for years at this point? And they were definitely stuck in that 2016 Overwatch mindset because they're charging $40 for it. I understand that they said there's going to be no battle passes, no loot boxes, no microtransactions, which is a great philosophy, just not with a game that's competition is free to play. You really can't do that now unless you already have an audience and people that trust you. And this was their first game and probably, to be honest, their last. People are sick and tired of live service titles. It's a very oversaturated space at this point. And I just don't see a lot of people putting their faith into a title like this. I think now this game is actually going to go free to play. There were a couple of rumors circulating. I did cover it in another video that will be linked down below. But it's rumored that they're already considering going free to play because they're not exactly sure how else they're going to get people in the game, which is pretty obvious judging by the less than 100 people that are online on Steam right now. I do think that it's going to upset people because they spent the money and the only way they could really, you know, kill that backlash would be to refund everyone. But I don't think they're going to do that just because they must be desperate for some kind of funds at this point. Honestly, I feel like this was a Sony experiment to see just how much DEI they could shove into a game and see if people would really stay away from it. I feel like this was a bit of a test for them. Uh, let me put on my, you know, tinfoil conspiracy hat here. But I just don't see what they saw. You know, they invested a lot of money into this. They bought a whole entire studio for this game, and it's an epic failure. And honestly, none of this is very shocking. We knew from the start that this game was probably not going to do amazing. It had faced constant backlash because of the character designs, the stories, and the backgrounds. We know that they had focused on highlighting things like pronouns in the gameplay uh, trailers, and it just seemed that they marketed this game very poorly, and this truly is a title for modern audiences, and we know those people don't really exist, and the few that do do not buy video games. They're not going to monetarily support a title like this, and it's hilarious to see because well, it's just a really bad game at the end of the day, so of course I will continue to keep my eye on Concord's you know, terrible player numbers. I expect in the next couple of weeks for it to basically be at zero. I just don't think that this game is going to survive. They said that they were committed to developing this game for years to come, and I just don't see a way that that's going to happen at this point. But that's all that I really had to discuss in this video. Let everyone know your thoughts in the comments below. If you enjoyed this, give it a like, and if you didn't, give it a dislike. I appreciate your support either way, but I'll talk to you all again in the next video really soon.